In this video, we will show you how to make a Modbus TCP connection with Indusoft SCADA software. What I have here is an ET7066 module, which is a 8 channels photomos relay from a module. So it has 8 channels of relay output. So first step we need to do is configuring the ET-7066 module. We can go to the web interface. As you see here, you need to log into the interface, check the configuration, make sure you know what, what, exactly what the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway in your network. Then there are also more module I.O. settings that allows you to configure the module on different channels. The web HMI will be able to control the module in real time. You can turn on or off for the relay module and the relay output. Now I'm going to going to open a new project in Indusoft to show you how easy it is to get the data over Modbus TCP into our SCADA system. And it doesn't matter if you receive this data through wireless or Zigbee or anything else. As long as it is Modbus TCP, it is very easy to get your data here. As an example, I can open a new project in Indusoft I need to type in the name of the project. Select which target platform you, you would like. So for now, this is a computer desktop. So I'm using the Windows logo interface as the product type. OK, once the new project is created, you can go to Screens, click Insert. Name the screen, um, let's name it screen one. And then click OK. So you will see a blank project and screen here. So this is a very simple screen here. And for adding driver, our project explorer here is a tab for communication right here. And here you can add driver if you just click on driver. and then click Add, Remove Drivers. So there are many drivers you have here. It could be very specific driver and based on the very specific brand or product, or it could be general, like, for example, um, Mopus RTU, Mopus TCP. So what we need to find is the Mopus TCP driver. See here, this one is the Mopus TCP driver. If it's for Mopus RTU, then you can select the Mopus uh, MODBU. In this case, and we'll add that by clicking the select button and then click OK. Depending on the license you have, you can have multiple drivers or just a, sing a single driver for you in your IndioSoft web. Studio. And for this example, which I have created and used this Modbus TCP protocol, if I go here, there is a main driver sheet. For this driver, and here is easy, you can configure and set up your communication with the PLC or any other data which received from out of the SCADA. So simply, I can create a very simple tag, which is our digital output. I can name it as D O underscore zero as my first channel. And you will see it's not created. So I can click yes to create this tag. So since this is a digital output, so I can, the type will be Boolean. OK. 
again. Let's do a second tag. Same thing. You need to create a new tag and check the Boolean. If you have like analog signal, then you will select integer or real, depending on the data type. For the station, you will need to look it up from your web interface, or if you know the IP already, then you can skip that. So if you don't know how to input your station or IO address, you can always go to help and then click communication driver, select the one I uh, which is the MOTCP driver, click help. It will open up a PDF file like this. And then you can um, look it up and see how to input your station, IO address, tag name. So we can go to this page. It's a main driver sheet. And the station section will be your, uh, my IP address, colon, port number, colon, PLC ID. And then for the IO address will be the type, colon, and the address itself. So here we will enter my, uh, the IP address of the module, which is the one, colon, and then the port number, which is 502. This one, this one is the Modbus TCP port number, 502. Um, for Modbus TCP slave device, there's always uh, one for the PLC ID. Copy this, and paste it on the second one. And for the IO address, so you need to go to our um, address table. And then we have the whole table of address for this module. So right now we are only reading the DO channel 0 and DO channel 1. Then we will use the coil register. We can put 0x colon one and then the next one will be zero x colon two. So since this is an output channel, so the action will be read and write, not read or write. And once it's finished, we can save this by right click the main driver sheet and save. Go back to the screen tab. Here we can create a very simple um, pilot light or switch or tags. I'm gonna show you how to link those tags into the, the, the symbols or tags. I can create a tag, say DO value. And then we'll put the pound sign representing the value of the the channel. And then we can create a symbol by clicking the symbol tab. Go to portrait sim a uh, system symbol, and we can pick a random one. Uh, switch. This one looks nice, so I can click it, go back to the screen, and paste it here. And then we can create other light, uh, pilot lights to indicate the status of that channel. Put this one, paste it here. So this one will be the DO one and then the second one I'm gonna put an 
another one, like green one, a blue one. So this, the first one will be saying uh, channel one, and the second one will be channel two. And we can put a switch for the channel one one. I'll put it here. Okay. And then to link the tags or lights or button or switch to the tag, you need to double click on it. We we'll go to the object properties and then click on text data link and select the tag you want to link um, to the values into. We can select deals underscore zero, close it. This one will also be do one, and then you will see this tag that state, double click on the value, select the one you want to be displayed, which is the DO0. Same for the switch. This one, it may seem a little bit different for each of the symbol, but this, you will do the same to select the text you want to link. And this one will be the second channels. Okay, and then don't forget to add a button, otherwise you won't, you won't be able to exit the, the runtime. And then the command to exit runtime, you will add the built-in language, and then click expression. The command for shut uh, to exit is shut down. Close it. So we have created a simple project already. So once it's finished, you can do save all. Okay. And just to make sure the IndieSoft is reading the status of the from the module, we can add a spy. You see that it's called a database spy. You can put it will show the real time status of the text. So you will see the quality is good, means the communication is established. And if it's bad, that means something wrong with the communication. So we can go to the web interface and change the, the status and make sure it's changing or not. It may take a while to see the real time change. Or you can go to the runtime directly just to run it. And open the web interface at the same time. So I want to see this change if I change it from the web interface. That means it's reading it in real time. So when I turn off from the web interface, it also shows it's off. So when I turn on from the web interface, the, the light is also off, as you see from both channel one and channel two. So this switch will allow you to control the status of the output. I turn on, it shows the value is one. I can also see this from the web interface, it's also show on. So when everything is done, click the exit button to exit. 
if I go back to the main driver sheet, you can see it's very easy to configure this communication. So, and in this table, I just out of the tag name. So this is the station address your remote I/O device or Mobus slave, and this is the I/O address. And because the digital out input and output of the I/O address will be COX or 1X. So if I want to display other um, value, for example, the input register, I will put the 3X in under my I/O address column. So for also for 4X as well. So 3X, 4X, depending on what kind of register you want to display or create in IndieSoft. So you can easily insert more text and it could be integer, um, boolean, real, or string. And create text, you can also go to project text tab and go to open up the data sheet view. And you will be able to change the data type from Boolean into integer real string. And once it's all created and set up in the communication main driver sheet, you can easily connect them to your Mobus network and receive data from PLC or any device outside. Thank you very much for your interest in IndieSoft.